Welcome back to Alan Wake. It we are with Dr. Hartman there's here, a and storm coming. there's a storm Funny, coming. I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, it's no because I'm not insane. This way, follow me. The storm's coming. It's the darkness. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering... Hey, there's a thermos in there. Imagination is what you work with. I need that. Doc, open this door. Please. Like, imagine if this wasn't a clinic. This would be an amazing house for After parties and stuff. Nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. But it also doesn't. Why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can Are you like lockpicking the door? It's just a key. Come along. Let's go inside. Who's oh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. Scary, scary, scary. Are you a cat? What are you doing over here? Who are you? You painting? Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Well, that's me falling into the water. How did you know? Uh, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Doesn't really look bad. The sun's out. Just a lot of thunder. Come, Alan. This way. No, I'm busy. See, look, there's a thermos here. I gotta go up the stairs because there's another thermos. See, like, this place is huge. Like, actually, it kind of reminds me of the Until Dawn house. Another QR code. I don't know what QR codes do, but... They probably give me, like, some sort of... There we go. They're, like, in weird spots, because there's one right there, too. But this house would, like, having a house like this big would be kind of, it would be, actually, it reminds me of Outlast, but it would be scary in a way, because now, anybody can get in anywhere. Typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Welcome to Cauldron Blake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patient's need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative process. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy, TM, and its sister method, the flow, TM. Work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Okay. I'm concerned. Why is there so many bears? My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They is Odin the one with the eye patch? I put this... A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They okay. are, well... Okay, you can't tell me that's not badass. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. 
I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. That is badass. Who cares? That's pro oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Or maybe it's just a show that they want me to finish I'd writing. Like to bash his head in with a hammer. No, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy that's the sanest thing i've heard in a while <laughs> say you're all right tom hey we like him don't we bro he's got to go to the farm the anderson farm valhalla maybe i'm tom down, lest we forget a crash course all you need to know to get your head right you need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Is that a manuscript page? My head was clearing up. Hold on, hold on. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear too. If not for his young assistant Emil, he would have given it up. Who the hell is Emil? Convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Okay, so another thing that I'm thinking what is happening is that Alan Wake was his name before this, and he has taken the persona of his character in the book, and that's where Alice comes in too. But Alice died. And he doesn't know who he is. He thinks he's Alan Wake, but he also could be Thomas Zane. Or according to Hartman, I, I don't was know. sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the manuscript? The There's Anderson's one in there. made more sense. How do I get that manuscript in there? Is there a door over here? Uh, there is, but I can't go in there. Hey, you, you know anything? You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagination. They're only in your head and they're not there when you wake up. So you can't wake up because I'm in charge now and I don't want to disappear. My nightmare is the publisher people who want to make a contribution so they can say they made a contribution. And then we end up with mullets in there because they think mullets are funny. But it wasn't supposed to be about mullets. And now it's about mullets. And when it's in slow motion, they call it mullet time because the numbers came back from marketing that mullet time is the hook we needed to go big in the target demographic. And they're not even kidding. They say it all like serial killers with straight faces and smiles. My nightmare okay, this guy is, is the writers who want to make everything from the characters to the toasters talk, talk, talk all the time and express their feelings so they won't shut up. And the writers won't shut up either because they have feelings too. And I have to listen to them because they're not scared of me. And everyone should just shut up, shut up, shut up. But I don't I see want to say, dude, you have a really long neck. Scary that guy's them. talking way too much, so I'm sorry. I'm out. Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Who are you? Who are you, all of you? The doors were locked. Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was no way to get my hands on them. Also, I'm wearing pretty fancy clothes for being in a clinic. There's lights there. Wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. Oh, right there. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark. Is that outside. live action, the Alan Wake? Is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It has to it's be. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. That was cool. 
I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. So basically, I have to write a different story. Okay, my room's right. That wasn't where my room was. Or maybe it Arlen was. Had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just yeah, point along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. All right, I'll, I'll write. I'm just looking, see if I forgot anything. This place is probably just going to come like all dark and darkness is going to take over it. But I feel like I'm correct about the story or I could be wrong. Everybody could just be against me. Okay, have I gone? Yeah, this is the 360 room. It's all crazy in here. This is the art room. That's the guy from downstairs. And this is my room. See, oh, because my name is Wake on there. But people are calling me Tom. Who's Tom? The glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? It's freaking Odin and Tor. Chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Yeah, the Xbox room again. Is any of these rooms open? No. Freaking Odin and Thor. Wait, manuscript. What? Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. See, now that, after saying that, they, they could just be all against me. I don't know. Because Barry knows it's I'm here. Store. He could just be. I'm Sinclair looked it. bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. Well, if she was one of Hartman's goons, door, she had baby. it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. Hey guys, how's it going? The backstage is I had to get to Hartman's top. office. See he had taken all destiny. my manuscript pages. Look at him in there, in the window. So now I have keys. Can I take these keys anywhere? Let's see. Can I open this? Cool, I can open this. I wonder if I can go upstairs and open the doors. All right, I know that door's open. Let me go back upstairs, because double check everything. Why not? Also, two old guys just beat up, like, and they got that guy scared. Nope, nope. Can I go in here? Nope. I want to go, there's one more spot I want to go to. Yeah, you better hide, Birch. My wrath will break you. In here? Can I go He's in here yet? Probably kidding, Birch. He's got a great sense of humor. Here? Nope. Okay, so I do have to go into this room over here. But two old guys took out that girl and... I did not know if I want to go in here yet. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. All right. They, they could have used a different picture instead of taking in-game icons. And so the, so I am getting played. Okay. Hold on, Barry. The tapes said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. 
I so. Be right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No. Tell me, Mrs. Wake, what would you say to him if he'd listen? I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. It's some stranger who resembles you, looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but... Just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Yeah, so... Alice is alive, and Barry is in here. So I'm not crazy. Barry? Al, about time. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else, I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah. That's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. <laughs> or, Barry, you just want to get with Rose? Is that my manuscript? These were all the pages I had already. And more. Where's my guns? Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Whoa, okay. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. With your ability and mine. the dark he just sorry if that's loud. that is loud that is very loud and i'm sorry but he just trapped him in the darkness okay so and he's smirking all right before we continue on i'm going to end the episode here i really hope you're all enjoying this episode the gameplay has definitely changed and the story is really taking a turn like to me i like i know what's going on but i also don't and it's a bit confusing and I'm going to I'm going to finish the whole series the whole game. So but I really hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you like what I do, please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 1000 by August. At the end of every episode, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen next.
So I'm going to be playing, I have a couple secret games I'm going to be playing with friends, and I'll upload those soon once we get them all set up. And then there's going to be more single player games and stuff like that. I'll be, we'll be continuing Resident Evil 2. I just haven't recorded any Alan Wake. So, I know repeating what I said last episode, but... I'm not going to give names of games I'm going to be playing. Well, single player games are fine, like Bioshock, Alan Wake, and stuff like that, like I'm playing right now. But I'll be playing more of a horror aspect, and like Telltale games, like uh, Life is Strange, The Walking Dead, stuff like that. So stay tuned for that, and if you like what I do and you like my videos, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it a lot. We're trying to hit a thousand by August. Anyways, guys, peace.